So essentially what's going on here with this whole Streamlit app is that I found that a lot of people had issues learning, okay, now that I have a computer vision model, how do I actually, you know, put that in production? Like, how do I actually make this thing work? And also, what if I want to do something with my actual inference results? Um, I don't just want to detect something, but maybe I want to crop that bounding box, or maybe I want to fill it with something, you know, for a privacy purpose, or maybe I want to obscure it, you know, with blurring for a privacy purpose. But it's really difficult to quickly know how to do that and also make an app for it if you don't understand how the response objects formats work, for example. So the Streamlit app is kind of just something to make it easy for someone to quickly, one, visualize how this process can work, but two, afterwards, um, you can also look into the code and compare that to our computer vision utilities repo, which is back here, to then see how exactly I configured this code to one, work with the Streamlit app, so you understand that, oh, this code isn't just static, you can use it in multiple ways, but also that it's really not as much of an in-depth process as you think. So it just comes down to the factor of, for an object detection, for example, your prediction format, it's just JSON. So when I say it's just, J it's just JSON, that helps for most developers, but what you end up finding is that not everyone that'll sign up for a computer vision platform is actually a developer. Um, it could be someone that's uh, just a student, just trying it out for the first time, or it could be someone that is also sitting there of, I'm looking, I'm a project manager and looking to test something out for a company, right? So RoboFlow Universe is one of those things that could help um, someone in that type of situation, whether they're looking to ideate on a project or even learn if it's possible, and then start to take images, clone them to a data set, or just create your own data set. For example, I have lots of different examples in here. And once you do your process of annotating your images, you know, training your models, doing things like making sure your health check is okay, you can either do auto ML with RoboFlow train, or for example, like what was explained earlier, you can export in any of these formats. And from there, be able to train your model, log and comment, and do, with, do what you wish with your actual inference results.